So my co-CEO calls me up at 2 a.m. In, in the morning and says, Alex, the drug is effective in patients. I cried. I couldn't say anything for a few moments. Yeah. The process of creating a new medicine is understandably complex. On average, it takes 10 to 15 years to develop a new drug, and it costs $1.3 billion. 90% of drugs fail when tested in humans. They either don't effectively treat the illness or show too many side effects. Idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis is a very deadly disease. Patients die within two to five years. If you see that you're improving lung function, not just slowing down the decline, that's a very big emotional moment. AI offers the ability to synthesize a wide variety of information. So you have as informed of a decision-making process from the very get-go of drug development. In Silico Medicine is one of the companies ushering change in the pharmaceutical industry by leveraging artificial intelligence. It's actually the first company to have a Gen AI-derived drug candidate go through phase two clinical trial testing. The beauty of this drug is it's entirely designed and discovered utilizing generative artificial intelligence. We use generative AI to understand the basic biology of life. We identify pathological proteins that cause the disease, and then we develop interventions that help you disable them and eliminate them. Artificial intelligence could potentially decrease the cost of preclinical development by 20 to 40 percent. Drugs can be designed and validated 15 times faster. With artificial intelligence, there is an opportunity for real progress.